a Cards with Michael production. What's up everyone, Cards with Michael here. Today we're gonna open a Zendikar Rising Collector Booster. It's been a while, it's been a while. This one is sponsored by Kevin S.I. What's more other letters? Just trying to be a little bit more privy again. Uh, and also to distinguish from the other Kevin S who also sponsored a Zedekar Rising Collector, which will be open later this weekend. Okay, so let's get to it. Um, I actually really wanted to do this video because I wanted to talk a little bit about um, just some of my thoughts and my feelings uh, from looking at the market, kind of being in this space, having a lot of these boxes and, you know, talking to distributors and, sorry, not distributors, stores. Uh, all right, so the, the cat is out. The collector boxes, look, um, throw them all drain. Uh, if you had any of that, I would hold on to that. I think that's a that's a box that look. Uh, I think that that one actually might be okay. But every other collector box so far, I'm not that high on anymore. Um, I think Santa Card look, you know, it'll age okay. But nowadays, uh, with the way product is being pushed, I just can't recommend any of this stuff for investment anymore. It's like. When, when I, and I have a lot of this stuff. Like, I'm not saying this because I, <laughs> you know, I I wish that wasn't the case because I actually have tons of boxes. Oh, I got a little sky cut up for sure. That's a nice one. Um, so today's video is, will be from me talking about this kind of stuff. And these foils are actually pretty darn good compared to what I've been seeing from Commander Legends. Um, yeah, it's going to be me talking about uh, the future of collector boosters, at least the future that I envision. And also... Just kind of uh, doing some prices on these cards to get an understanding of how, you know the EV of the boxes. I will be doing another one of these later this weekend. I'm happy to take more sponsorships of this um, just because I want to know. Oh, this is really dark. So this is, um, th these are some October 2020 boxes, 1020s. Uh, and they do happen to have a, a dark, like, uh, common on common showcase foil, right? And a foil Phylath World Sculptor showcase, right? And a Cat Beast copy token um so what else i say all right so yeah long-term potential no i just you know like you can't draft these so the only thing that people would be opening these for is nostalgia now the value of these at the beginning always great as long as the ev is high these are going to be good but as the set rotates out as the set's cards just depreciate as the supply of the set cards increase you know it's just i can't i can't say good things i don't want to lead anyone astray um, I also have tons of this stuff left. I have, well, Zendikar, I don't have that much left, but Core, I still have like tons of boxes. Commander Legends, I have tons of boxes, but I just don't feel like that's where we should be parking our money. Um, if you enjoy it, you want, you know, you want to treat yourself for Christmas, open one. They are fun to open, definitely. But it's just, you know, it's, I've just been seeing that trend over and over again. In fact, these trends have actually made me start to realize that, you know what I should be buying is the draft boosters. And I didn't think this for a long time. For a long time, I was thinking, you know, Zenicar draft boosters, who would want that kind of junk? Uh, Core 2021, just all those draft boosters. Like, the EV of the, is so bad on release. But you know what? You know what they say. Things that are underappreciated during their time have this knack for getting value when, uh, when the hype, you know, ends, and then a year down the road, a couple years down the road, you know, Wizards goes like, all right, no one really wants these draft boosters. We'll officially put them out of print, and boom. That's 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 kind of, I mean, we've been seeing that with the Pioneer draft boosters. Pioneer, of course, like the Amon Cats, uh, all your Lotto ones, your Battle for Zenicars. They don't have a collector booster, so it's kind of like a different data set, but Malpa Skyclaves, love this card. Um, and of course, oh yes, these uh, these these uh, dual lands with the, uh, the, the Covenant Blade Tap, the Mythic ones, are, are really nice as well. Um, but I, I just, I'm starting to get that feeling and, and, you know, we don't really have a, a big viewership on this channel, so I'm happy to take your opinions. I don't think I'm going to move the markets at all with my opinions like this saying that, oh, you know, collective boosters aren't the thing anymore, but I'm sure some of that, some of this resonates with some of you guys. Some of you guys have probably been burned. I, you know, I'm guilty of selling these collective boosters at a higher price that, than they are now. And I think, you know, maybe some people might be unhappy about that. I mean, at the time, those were like, most of the time that I sold them at decent deals, given what the market was, but they've moved. The prices have moved, and they've only really moved one direction. And um, you know, that's just that's just how it is. And I and I, and I want to give you the perspective from a lot of stores that I work with. Let me tell you what the stores do. They don't keep any of this on hand. Like I'm saying, if they get it, 
they would love to unload it same day. I'm not kidding. You don't see stores keeping tons of the stock in, 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 in stock. Like they might keep a couple boxes so that they can sell loose packs to, you know, your, your little Timmy walking in, wanting to crack a pack. Hey, we have two River Glide pathways here, all right? One was foil, of course. Um, but that's it. This is it. Ooh, of course, we have an Obun Moldai Ancestor. That's a nice one. All right. And uh, that should tell you kind of the trend has been for these. Um, stores would love to unload their draft boosters, but they're just not selling. Like, no, like, they, they, you can't really, you can't, you, most stores that I know um, that, uh, that really sell this kind of product at a high pace either net even or, or potentially lose a little bit of money per sale of a draft booster. So, I don't expect Wizards to, to print more draft boosters, and as a result, you know, a couple years on the road, people are going to want to draft these sets again. They're going to be like, oh, I never really got to play Xenocar Rising on paper. I never really got to play Runecraft Foil Showcase. That's a nice treat. Ooh, and a Skyclave Apparition Foil. All right. Foil Extended Art. That's a treat as well. Um, and they're going to want to draft these sets, and, and that's just... That's just how it's gonna be. It's like, it's really hard for me to wrap my head around that. I'm saying it and I don't even believe it, but I just, I'm starting to get that big feel. And I think, uh, you know, we'll watch this, uh, you know, hopefully a couple years down the road, I'll rewatch this video and be like, Michael, you're a genius. Or I could be like, Michael, you idiot. Why did you buy that pallet of draft boosters? So we'll see, we'll see. But that's kind of the, the stance that I'm starting to feel nowadays. Um, I've, uh, I still think collector boosters are really good. I still will be buying a lot of collector boosters but I'm not gonna plan on holding them. I'm gonna crack them, I'm gonna sell the singles. Uh, we're gonna sponsor them here. I'm not gonna keep too much on inventory. I'm gonna make it available to you guys as much as I can so that you know you, the guys who are interested in buying and selling and, and, and you know cracking them on TCG, um, you know, providing that liquidity to you guys, I'll be doing that. But beyond that, like, I just don't feel good about holding collector boosters um, long-term. I just, you know, I just don't, I don't think they're gonna appreciate um, can't draft them, and uh, their 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 EV and and their and their implicit value. I feel like it's too tied with EV, and when the singles start dropping, I just it just no like there was a period of time I was like, hey, you know, I'm not sure we need to wait for empirical data, but I'm I'm willing to call it now. I'm willing to call it now. Um, I I you know everyone has a limited amount of resources to invest and, and, and to put into this game, and I just don't recommend it on collector boosters kind of long term. Now, if you're buying things, collector boosters, at kind of like distributor cost. Um, so here's something I've noticed. So uh, one of the distributors have, has been offering a deal, um, a weekly deal, actually. I think it's been maybe two or three weeks already um, where you can buy up to 12 Zenicar Rising collector boosters for $144 before fees, before shipping. I think it usually, you know, for most guys, even if they pay a credit card and they get ganked with a 3% or whatever fee, it ends up being about 150, let's call it 155 to be safe. Um, that's per box. And so you might have noticed that you, you know, you've seen some stores do deals. I think uh, Cool Stuff Inc. was one of the stores that did a deal where it was like 170 or 180 a box. Um, look, those deals exist because there's so many of these collector boosters out there somehow. Hey, look at that. We have a foil expedition, all right? Copperline Gourds, that's a treat. Somehow there's so many of these, and I, I'm, I'm surprised because I thought that, you know, I thought that they had sold out. I thought that the product was so good, but somehow there's just so many, and these are all quote unquote the same print run, right? It's weird because they there's like a, an August batch, a September batch, and an October batch. Um, but somehow it's all one print run because Wizards has officially never said that they do like an extra print run of these uh, collector boosters. So I think it's really like they had intended on printing X amount, but they didn't print X amount in August. They didn't finish printing it in September. And then finally they finished printing it in October. So that's kind of my stance on these collector boosters. That's a very beautiful card, by the way. This Mimic the Glass Pool Shore. Oh, such beautiful art. Johan Grainier, Grainier, all right. Uh, and this box actually I can tell is not that great. We've only gotten one foil expedition and it was a copperline gourd so not exactly the best and uh just kind of swoopsy yeah all right got a thorn of mckinney foil extended art all right two more packs now when i first opened these i thought these were the bomb.com um i remember the very first opening i did i got a windswept heath and that was just such a beautiful card but now you know i still think these are good like you know if, if i had to pick 
Hey, Manny Kaufman, that's beautiful. A thieving skydiver. If I had to pick a single collector booster to kind of go all in on, it would actually still be the Zenkar Rising. I've been thinking about Commander Legends, um, and I think Commander Legends will have to wait until the price kind of also starts dropping because um, it's just so expensive right now. Like, like unless you're getting it sub sub two hundred dollars, uh, kind of as a long term hold, I don't feel good about that. Um, and I sell. And I, guys, when I give you this type of advice, it goes ex it like doesn't help any of my sales process. So I actually sell these sealed for two hundred fifty right now. So. It's more to sponsor a video, just for my video, you know, my time, and because, you know, I don't want people who sponsor videos who want to sponsor and, you know, support the channel. But, um, I'm just saying, like, I think, I really truly think that, uh, you know, these just are a little expensive right now, Commander Legends Collectors. Now the market, of course, does not agree with me. People are paying 270 plus on TCG Player. I think it's like 268 right now is a TCG low. Um, okay, so no, no extra foil expedition, only two. Uh, but, uh, you know, I just, now that I've seen the, the way collector po boxes get priced, everything ends up dropping. Now, maybe Commander Legends won't drop as much, right? Because, truthfully, you have seen some of our previous videos, the EV of them. You know, it's pretty good. Like, I, you know, the worst one we've done was like 235 EV, and that's, you know, we don't count any of the, the cards that are worth a dollar or less. Um, one of the things about Commander Legends is there's there's no rare land cycle, so, sorry, there's no, expect there's no common... Uh, lands that kind of boys up the value like you know these these little foil extended a little decent these little full arts um but anyways let's see all right we have a horizon canopy that is kind of off center here you can see it's i guess you could tell that it was off center and it's actually kind of a cool off center it's spiral off center so as you can see here um the card uh is thicker here and thicker here but thinner here and thinner here so that's actually kind of kind of neat i wonder if this will demand a premium, um, I actually am sure it'll demand a, a small premium. It's, it's more of like how much of a premium. And actually, let's see if the, if the other box topper also has this kind of neat effect. That'd be kind of cool. Snappy. All right, let's see. Here we go. Oh yeah, it does, look. That's super cool, Kevin. I'm glad that we got this. Okay, hopefully this is something really nice. Ah, uh, Celestial Colonnade. All right, wait. Okay, I was like just making sure that it's actually um, right side up. Uh, so yeah, let's we'll put the the boxed uh, total price right here. Um, I'm willing to bet that this is a little bit on the lower side. I wonder how low. I don't know. Um, boxes like like this right now, I think. TCG Low has them kind of in the 190 range. I value them kind of, if you're able to buy in the 180 range, I think that's kind of a, a safe spot. If you're able to just straight up buy in the 160s, 170s, dude, I think, I think that's fine if you want to hold on to these. Um, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. I would actually, you know, if you really want to invest in Magic, buy a case of Draft Boosters of Commander Legends, try to get a sealed case, of course, and maybe a Zeneca Rising, maybe Core 2021, that kind of stuff. That, that's what I recommend right now. Um, in fact, that is actually what I'm doing right now. So. Uh, I put my money where my mouth is and uh, guys if you like like this type of content um, I try to drop little nuggets like here and there, but I don't really want to kind of quick baby tell my answers out um, I don't need the world to know this type of information I just want the guys who really watch my type of content like my content and uh, Get to know kind of what I'm thinking all the time. So guys, that's my video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you on the